In this video, we're breaking down the key differences between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. This video is for anyone newly diagnosed, their loved ones, or anyone wanting to learn more about diabetes. By the end of this video, you'll have a much clearer understanding of these two conditions. Diabetes is a chronic health condition that affects how your body turns food into energy. It happens when your body doesn't make enough insulin or can't effectively use the insulin it produces. Insulin is a hormone that acts like a key, allowing blood sugar, or glucose, to enter your body's cells for energy. When you don't have enough insulin or your body doesn't use it right, too much blood sugar stays in your bloodstream. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease. In type 1 diabetes, the body attacks and destroys the insulin-producing cells in the pancreas. This means the pancreas makes very little or no insulin. Type 1 diabetes typically develops during childhood or adolescence, but it can occur at any age. People with type 1 diabetes need to take insulin every day to survive, either through injections or an insulin pump. The onset of symptoms in type 1 diabetes is usually quite rapid. Common symptoms include excessive thirst, frequent urination, unexplained weight loss, and fatigue. Type 2 diabetes is much more common than type 1. In type 2 diabetes, the body either doesn't make enough insulin or the cells become resistant to insulin. Type 2 diabetes is often linked to lifestyle factors like obesity, lack of physical activity, and genetics. Type 2 diabetes develops gradually, and symptoms may be subtle at first. Management options for type 2 diabetes include lifestyle changes, medication, or insulin therapy. Common symptoms include increased thirst, frequent urination, blurred vision, and slow healing sores. The cause of type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune reaction, while type 2 is linked to lifestyle and insulin resistance. In type 1, there's little to no insulin production. In type 2, there's insulin resistance or reduced production. Treatment for type 1 always involves insulin, while type 2 can be managed with lifestyle changes, medication, or sometimes insulin. Type 1 typically starts in childhood or adolescence, whereas type 2 often develops in adulthood. Early detection and management are crucial for both types of diabetes. Regular checkups, monitoring blood sugar levels, and following your doctor's advice are essential. Proper management can help prevent serious complications like heart disease, kidney disease, and nerve damage. 